Video Gamers Oasis. Website, YouTube channel. Hello, <clears throat> welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis on uh, Twitch. I'm your host, Jeremy. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm doing something a little bit experimental, a little bit unusual. Uh, as you see here, I'm playing. Uh, going to be playing a uh, text adventure game in a few minutes called uh, Zork: The Cavern of Doom, and just going to be setting this up in just a few minutes. Okay, so uh, I'll be doing other other games in the future but right now I'm just starting something a little bit different on Sunday nights I'm trying to something a little experimental called ASMR gaming and I wanted to start with some text adventure games and I've, I've shut off the audio uh, on this so it's just me talking maybe uh, maybe my vo my voice droning on with these old-fashioned games can maybe put you to sleep if you ha suffer from some insomnia Alright, this is a text adventure. Uh, I believe it's a fan fiction text adventure, not the original Zork. I mean, if you're familiar with the, with the Zork text adventure fantasy uh, text adventure games, I I've, I've remember playing games like these as a kid. So we're playing uh, The Cavern of Doom. You can see the, there's a graphic included in there. So, let's just see if I can get this thing set up here. Yeah, we're basically ready to go. Here we go. Original story by S. Eric Moretsky, 1983. Zork is a registered trademark of Infocom Incorporated. Copyrighted C. 1983 by Infocom Incorporated. First printing September 1983. This is a work of fiction. All the characters and events portrayed in this book are fictional and any resemblance to real people or incidents is purely coincidental. Release 1 forward slash serial number 03012 forward slash inform v6.21 library 6 forward slash 10 SD in your favorite bookstore. Welcome to the kingdom of Zork. You are bored. There's nothing on TV except some stupid reruns. You wander into your local bookstore and pick up an interesting looking book entitled Zork. The Cavern of Doom. As usual, you turn to the first page and begin reading. The book is set in the magical land of Zork, where a new, incredibly rich underground realm has just been discovered. Dozens of adventurers have entered the Cavern of Doom, but returned. Only you can save them. There are bad tempered warlocks, huge diamonds, dragons, and a giant empire to explore. It looks like this book is good. What do you want to do? 1. Do you choose to save the kingdom? If so, read on. Or two, do you choose to go home and watch reruns? Well, I started this gameplay to play the game. Let's get on with it. I choose one. One. Lookout point. Let's turn it off that audio. It is a cool day after a week-long summer heat wave, so June and Bill are taking the opportunity to bicycle to Lookout Point in the... Turn off that audio. We don't need it right now. Lookout Point 
It is the first cool day after a week-long summer heat wave. So June and Bill are taking the opportunity to bicycle to Lookout Point in the hills outside of town. It is a favorite quote-unquote secret pot of theirs and they come here often. As the sun reaches its zenith, they arrive at Lookout Point, a small plateau bordered on one side by rolling hills and on the other side by a steep cliff. They sit down under the familiar overhanging rock, which offers some protection from the bright midday sun. The edge of the cliff is just a few yards away. Neither of them speaks for a long while. Finally, June breaks the silence. You know what I've been thinking, Bill? Bill absentmindedly tosses a pebble over the edge of the cliff. I give up. What have you been thinking? It's been two months since our last adventure. That's funny. I've been thinking about the land of Zork all day also. Now we continue. I beg your pardon. Ah. Lookout point score. Zero moves. Two. I, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Lookout point score. Zero moves. Two. Okay, so they they want me to make a decision. That's fine. I've been thinking about the land of Zork also. Uh, let's go to Zork. Turn this off. Let's. Land. Go back to Land. Zork. Two. 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 Zork. Let's go back to Zork. That's not, That's a, not a verb I recognize. recognize. Lookout point score. Zero moves. Two. Type in Zork. Zork. That's not a verb I recognize. Go. Go. Sorry, Zork. this is not an interactive fiction game. It's just a novel with some minimal interaction. All you can do is turn over to the next page by entering. Turn, turn over, over to. to oh, okay. U. T. N. N. Lookout point. The Kingdom of Zork. Lookout Point. The Kingdom of Zork is a magical land far away. A land where Bill and June are known as Bivotar and Geranda. A land ruled by their uncle, Sayovar. Twice before, Bill and June have ventured there, once battling the evil Krill, would-be conqueror of Zork and once saving Sayovar from the terrible wizard Malafresto, Malafestro, pardon me. Bill reaches into his pocket and removes the Ring of Zork, their gateway to the land of, of Zork. Placing the ring of one's finger somehow transports one to that amazing land. As Bill holds up the ring, sunlight glints off its golden surface. Suddenly a lizard scurries off, scurries out from behind a clump of scrub grass, startling Bill. He drops the ring of Zork, which begins rolling along the rock toward the edge of the cliff. 
Bill and June both leap after it. Bill grasps as he slips on a patch of gravel at the cliff's edge. June grabs onto him, but they both lose their balance and plunge over the precipice. The ground rushes toward them. Sharp boulders beckon. Bill and June are too terrified even to scream. Next page. N. Throne room. Then, just before they hit the ground, the lighting changes. <clears throat> Throne room. Then, just before they hit the ground, the lighting changes. They land jarringly, but the fall is softened by a plush carpet. They look around in amazement, for they are in the throne room of the castle of Zork. Moreover, they are dressed in adventurer's garb. Sayavar stands with his back to them, apparently lost in thought. Through the wide doorways to the adjoining banquet hall, they can see a modest luncheon being served. Sayovar, hearing the commotion of their arrival, slowly turns. He notices them, and his face lights up. Geranda and Bivotar, I was just thinking about you too. How wonderful that you decided to drop in. Well, it wasn't entirely intentional, begins Geranda. She explains what happened. Frobs above, explains Sayovar. You two are pretty lucky. You must have been protected by the power of the ring. Or maybe it was the fact that I was thinking of you. Sometimes magic works in ways we don't understand. As if to illustrate Sayovar's last command, the ring of Zork suddenly appears in midair and falls to the floor. Sayavar picks the ring up and puts it safely in his pocket. Next page. N. Throne room. Well. Throne room. Well, there's a small banquet going on, and there'll be... <clears throat> and there'll be plenty. There'll be a play presented afterwards, I believe. Today is also the date of the jousting finals on the meadow outside the castle. The competition begins in about an hour. Or you can go to the annual crafts... Kratz Fair? Or Crafts Fair in the courtyard. Those all sound like fun, Geranda says. But what, what I would like to do, if you're interested, is go to my library and talk, and get to know each other better. I could tell you tales about the fall of the great underground empire, and about the early campaigns request the uh, request the evil krill oh the evil campaigns question the evil krill i use to be considered a spellbinding storyteller what do you want to do go to the banquet and play attend the jousting finals visit the crafts fair or stay and listen to sayovar's stories let's Stay and listen, number four, and listen to Sayovar's stories. Four. Sayovar's study. Sayovar seems pleased by... Sayovar's study. Sayovar seems pleased by their decision and leads them to his private study. A cozy room filled with books and ancient curios. A fire roars in the hearth. As they munch on delicious cakes and sip a strange herbal tea, Sayavar reminisces about his childhood days during the height of the great underground empire. He recalls how he learned magic from an aged sorcerer named Hermasidus. Bivatar and Geranda are surprised to learn that Sayavar was married once during the last days before the fall of the empire. His wife, Lorena, was killed by an enemy of Sayovar, an evil warlock named Grawl. Grawl also cast a powerful 
one on Sayavar's only son, Lagrum Mathar, and exiled him to a distant land. Sayavar was never able to locate his son again, and, his fam fi and he f has finally forced himself to admit that Lagrum Mathar is dead. As the fire grows dimmer, Sayavar tells them of the rise and fall of the great underground empire. A mighty kingdom carved carved right into the bedrock of the earth. A kingdom of wondrous sights, tremendous wealth, and powerful magic. But because of the decadence of its ruler, Lord Dimwit Flathead, the empire finally fell. Next page. And Sayavar's study. Following the fall. Sayavar's study. Following the fall, evil times came to the land of Frobes, Frobaz, as every warlock in the kingdom attempted to gain control. Finally, Sayavar helped recreate the Knights of Zork, an ancient royal army, to help bring order to the land. With the defeat of Krill, the most powerful of the warlocks, peace returned. Now the great underground empire is rising once more. Each week, new areas of the old underground caverns are rediscovered, explored and settled. Flood Control Dam number three is once again the famous tourist spot it was at the height of the empire. And the mines of Zork are once again producing coals and diamonds. Sayavar speaks softly of his dream of united, uniting all the neighboring lands into a peaceful, happy kingdom. A troubled look comes over Sayavar's face. Recently, Sayavar says, explorers have discovered a new section of the great underground empire, and adventurers and treasure hunters have flocked into the vast new area. None have returned. Next page. And Sayavar's study. Several knights have gone. Sayavar's study. Several knights have gone in to search for the missing explorers, but they have not returned either. With utmost reluctance, I have been forced to seal up the section of the underground empire forever to prevent more disappearances. Sayabar pauses and looks sadly towards uh, Bevatar and Jiranda. Unfortunately, Max and Fred, the two elves who joined your quest to, to rescue me from the wizard Malafestro, are among the missing. Sayavar absentmindedly strokes his beard. I attempted to use my magic powers to explore the Cavern of Doom, but they were unable to penetrate it. It is as though the entire region were guarded by some powerful enchantment. All I could glean was a vague feeling that only someone completely innocent, only someone pure of heart, could enter that enchanted cavern and return. Sayavar pauses, lost in thought. The room has grown dark. The fire has turned into a bed of glowing embers. Sayavar shakes himself out of his reverie. Well, look how late it is. You two had best be off to your chambers. He summons a servant to escort them. And on that note, we'll just save the game as Type name of save game and hit enter. Escape to cancel. Sayovar's study. Okay. I'm Sayovar's study score. Alright, that was a success. Nine. Alright, I had a good time. I'm gonna take a little break. I'm feeling a little bit tired and Starting to slow down tonight. I'm going to take it easy tonight. But I'll, I think I'll be playing this every Sunday night. Uh, close to bed. It's a good uh, way to end the evening. Uh, Sunday evening for many gamers who want to slow down maybe their, their mind a bit. This uh, hear, me, hear me drone on <laughs> with these text, retro uh, text adventure games may just be what you need to help you go to sleep. So I hope you had a good time listening to me. If you do enjoy... Uh, what I'm doing here on this uh, Twitch channel, please uh, follow me on Twitch. Uh, Video Gamers Oasis is the Twitch channel. Thank
Thanks so much for your support. If you could also help me with the About page, there's a, uh, some affiliates and partners I'm working with, including the Brave Browser and uh, Pyre, Multivitamin Gummies. Replenish your vitamins and minerals with these candies that can, uh, can uh, give you the nutrients that you need that you perhaps are depleted from all the hardcore gaming you've been doing on Twitch. Also, I work with Boko Crypto. There's links on my About page. So please click those links and help me support. Help support the work I do. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other. Have a great uh, and a peaceful Sunday night. Take care of each other. And we'll see you again in the future when I'm feeling a bit more replenished and energetic. Make sure to follow my Twitch channel, https colon forward slash forward slash triple w dot twitch dot tv forward slash video gamers oasis and chat with me while I'm streaming. I would appreciate your company while I play some more fun games like this one and engage in some enjoyable gamer and geek discussions. See you there! Video Gamers Oasis Website YouTube Channel